we're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races around the world. In a few days' time, we will be tackling the K2N Stage Race, a five-day backcountry experience through rural Tanzania, from the slopes of Kilimanjaro to the shores of Lake Natron. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Are you freaking kidding me? Chasing a herd of zebra down the trail. This race will take us up to over 12,000 feet on Kilimanjaro and then through Maasai villages and into territory that few travelers, much less cyclists, traverse. Honestly, I'm having the best time. Bah! What was that? This experience is going to bring us face to face with our limits, as well as the local wildlife. The away. tusks were probably like, like this much was, tusk, yeah, do you reckon? It was yeah. enormous. In today's video, we're taking you along with us as we pack up our bikes and everything else we could possibly need to survive five days of rugged racing and travel across the globe to take our first ride in a completely new place. Welcome to Africa! Word to the wise, do not call out snakes while we're riding. Let's just be really loud to scare off the elephants. Supposed to be excited or scared? I'm excited. I'm scared, so take your pick. We are leaving on an airplane for Africa in 24 hours. Now I am going downstairs to start packing for bicycles because that is the next step. While I was finishing up final edits on the videos, Sid was doing an amazing job packing out here. So that's, I think most of our clothes, possibly all of them, sleeping bags, pillows, that kind of stuff. A little bit stressful. I think it's gonna be okay though. Just gotta get these bicycles packed. Oh, did I mention that our air conditioning stopped working yesterday? Because I wouldn't really be getting ready to go on a trip if something didn't go wrong with the house. So hopefully that was our like one stumbling block and everything else is gonna be nice and smooth. Last night, Sid and Jim came down. They put fresh tires on both of our wheels. I'm gonna see how fast I can pack Sid's bike in this bag. I'm gonna start at 14, so in 20 seconds, and I'm gonna add a minute because the wheels are already off. Ready, set, go. basically 29, 15 and a half minutes. Not bad. I do have to say that these cases are pretty awesome. They do things like color code the buckles. So like, oh look, the blue goes to the blue. And this blue goes to this blue. Yellow goes to yellow. So they make it pretty easy to figure out what goes where. And there's a handy little reference chart, picture, pictogram down there, which is also pretty helpful. Okay. Let's do number two, hopefully even faster. 10 minutes and then 11 if you add my one minute penalty for the wheels being off already. Bikes are packed. We need to add the things in along with them. We have decided that for this trip, we are going to have everything we need to ride our bicycles in the bag with the bicycles. So helmet will go in there, shoes will go in there, probably tools, potentially a couple of water bottles. Make sure everything's nice and tight. What's your guess? Under fifty. Well, I'm under forty. 45. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 52 <laughs> and a half. I'm gonna say definitely under 70. 51 and a half. <laughs> oh yeah. Under 48. You guys, it would not be us leaving if there weren't some sort of storm going on. For today's event, we have crazy wind and thunder. Well, that was shockingly easy. 
We started our journey to K2N with a four-hour drive from our home in Los Alamos, New Mexico to Durango, Colorado to meet up with our travel and race buddies, Lo and Joe. Honestly, it still feels completely surreal that we're doing this. It's true. Because there's just like still quite a few steps between us and being in Tanzania. I honestly have no idea how long it's going to take because the time zones have really waked me out. It seems like it's going to be three days or so. The reason we are going to Durango is that Loeb booked all of our tickets, which means because she has her bougie United 1K status, we straight off the bat got three overweight bags. And then we also got business class upgrades from Denver to London, which is going to be very nice. I'm very excited. After that, I think we were kind of on our own because we're on Ethiopian Airlines and they don't recognize that Lowe is a VIP, unfortunately. <laughs> the moral of all of this is that you don't have to be a VIP. You just need friends who are VIPs. We made it to Durango. Drive was smooth. We got here earlier than planned. All of our stuff needs to go in here, along with Lowe and Joe's stuff, along with all the of four us. of us. So we have four bikes, five checked bags, four backpacks, and one carry-on. What could go wrong? Nice. Nice. You can do it. I believe in you. Here, if I give you a knee, my knee is strong. <laughs> Good job. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Get her in. Get her in. <laughs> We're going on a safari. Our first flight was a puddle jumper from Durango to Denver, where we then had a four hour layover. What are we getting? Mm, some hot meat substance, I think. <laughs> What'd you get? A little bit of everything. What'd you get? A little bit of everything. I got a lot of everything. <laughs> we got tiny Scrabble. <laughs> Are those tweezers? Yeah. Nice. Next up, a nine hour overnight flight to London in business class thanks to travel guru Lo. Well, it pays to be friends with Lo. I know, it really does. <laughs> Let's go to Africa. Let's go to Africa. Let's go to London. Oh, Africa via London. Our bikes are at least Close to the plane, <laughs> Joe said. Close enough, you know, Close probably enough. fine. <laughs> in London, we had a nine hour layover, which again, thanks to Lowe, we were able to spend in the United Club Lounge. However, nine hours in an airport is still nine hours in an airport. We are pushing six hours in the United Club Lounge here in Heathrow, and we are starting to get a little antsy. Took a shower. It was a very lovely shower experience. Even washed my hair. We are basically doing two back-to-back -back overnight flights. How are you doing? Feeling real refreshed as I got to shower. Yeah, I missed my opportunity. Oh. I was feeling pretty bad. Could you please explain to all of the fans why you were in purple class and not first class and explain that I am not a monster? Uh, I didn't clean the house well enough before we left. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think this next one's gonna be worse. Finally, it was time for red eye flight number two, seven hours to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia on Ethiopian Airlines. <laughs> How do you feel about this? Looks <laughs> like we'll be flying over France, Malta, over the Mediterranean, through Egypt, over Sudan, Eritrea, straight to Addis Ababa. We made it to Africa. Hey, is it all your guys' first time in Africa? Yeah. Man, it's everybody's first time in Africa except mine. We had another four hours in the airport in Addis Ababa before getting on our fourth and final flight, a two-hour journey to Kilimanjaro International Airport in Tanzania. Oh, my God. 
Fantastic news, everyone. All nine of our bags have made it to Tanzania. Oh, but we're not done yet. We still have to get all of our stuff into a van about a third the size of Lo and Joe's Sprinter and then drive 90 minutes to Simba Farm Lodge, the first race camp on the slopes of Kilimanjaro. How are you feeling back there? We're manager. Comfortable. comfortable is not the word that I would use. <laughs> Found like an inch more space. <laughs> Let's try and get these wheels out. Lowe's <laughs> <laughs> bike is built. What? Mackie's bike is built. No. My bike is built. Joe's bike's almost now built. I'm, uh... Here is home for the week. We need to grab a second mattress, but this thing is huge. I, I can stand up in it. Okay, here we go, everyone. Woo, free ride, prologue. Welcome to Africa. After building our bikes and settling into our accommodations, we decided to check out tomorrow's prologue stage. In case you missed it in our last video, we'll be racing this event in pairs with Sid and Joe racing together and me and Lo racing together. We're hoping it'll be a good spouse swap battle, especially since Lo and I brought a toe strap, which you'll see a little later. No heroics until tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Highly predictable. <laughs> We're like three minutes in and we've had our first mechanical. And so does the stage start at the farm? Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. I think probably when my bike was examined by TSA, somebody yanked on the cable. It was not in the ferrule anymore. Which I really should have caught when I put the bike together, but you know, hopefully now we can shift. I found a snake, guys. See? You. He's dead. Word to the wise, do not call out snakes while we're riding. <laughs> okay, got it. You will lose love. I won't lose my <laughs> Okay. Let's just be really loud to scare off the elephants. Wait, you didn't hear about the elephant slow? Oh. High probability of being trampled. Wait, no. no. Just that you might see elephants. There are elephants in this forest, which is are cool. Are we supposed to be excited or scared? I'm excited. I'm scared, so take your pick. <laughs> what is the protocol with elephants? GTFO. <laughs> Do you like hide behind a tree? No, I think you, you stay out of it, stay away from turn them. around and go the other direction no. quickly. Because they're not like big cats that like to chase things. No. It's not like a moose. It's like a moose, I think, yeah. More like a moose. I hear something. Okay, I want everybody to think for a second about how loud squirrels sound when you're in the forest. I didn't think that was an elephant, but imagine an elephant. God knows what else it could be. Well, it is really cool back here. Jungle. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely jungle. Umbilical cord, tethered. I figure partway through when I get tired, we could just swap. Yeah. See how the other half lives. That's right. <laughs> Man, this is cool. So cool. Try just being in your endurance zone. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> no, but like... Not higher, I think is what he's saying. Well, you have to go a little faster than that if I'm doing my interval and I'm behind you, so. 
Well, you said you were doing an interval. Oh. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is elephant sh <laughs> Wait, was it really? Elephant Elephant God. <laughs> okay, wait, also, which way are we going, team? To the right. That was the other reason I stopped. Which way did the elephant go? Holy crap, how big. And we thought the bear poop was big. Wow, okay. Um, make lots of noise. Good thing that comes naturally to all of us. Yeah, I think that might be that. that's a big ass. Um, There's a cool monkey in this tree. Where is he? Oh yeah. These monkeys are so cool. They have like white fuzzy tails. There's one right there. Come on, move for us, monkey. Oh, there's another one, right? There's another one whose tail is hanging down way low, right? There. Ah! Something got, went through the little hole in my sunglasses. We appear to be in a pea field. I mean, I'm not, not the world's field. best, um, oh, sorry, Joe, plant identificator, but. Like this is probably a little spot for the person who's tending the peas. Yeah. Gumbo. Gumbo. Oop. There's, there's the ruddy. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going right. <laughs> Gosh, is, it? Nice, is it in here? Yeah, oh, fam. Wow. Yeah. In Swahili, how do you say it? Karot. Karot? Yeah. It's the same. Kunaviazi, peas. Ah, potatoes. Ne Oh, for me? Yeah. Oh, Texas was Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice for cookies. Asante sana. Uh, asante sana. Asante sana. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Lo has been gifted a carrot. <laughs> this a beautiful, great. gigantic yes. carrot. And it looks like the ocean in front of us, but I think it's just clouds. Woo-woo! You should just carry the carrot for... Good luck. Yeah. you like, why do you... Good thing in America. Yeah. Anyone who tethers has to carry a large carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, that was nice. Carry the carrot every day just to like... This carrot race with me all week. This is real life. They really, they really are. Turns out humanity is Guys, I just swallowed a bug. Well, that first part of the descent was awesome, and it looks like we have even more, except now we're in this, this really cool working forest. Oh yeah, eucalyptus forest.
Dando. Ante. Wild riding through this grass. Simba Lodge. Simba Lodge? Yeah. I think he's telling us to go on. Go up there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our pre-ride gave us a taste of the incredible terrain we'll be racing this week, and we could not be more excited about this event. Also, if you're wondering, the amazing kitchen staff at Simba Farm made good use of Lowe's carrot, and it made a reappearance for dinner. Stay tuned, because the rains move in overnight to make this prologue stage a little bit spicier than it was in the pre-ride. I just full body planted into nettles. <laughs> <laughs> if you're tempted to get complacent, well, this is Africa. Didn't a farmer get killed by a lion years yeah. ago on somewhere in this house and went the way they make you get this trees out? <laughs> Holy <laughs> <laughs> Salamat, salamat, salamat.